All right, so let's have a look at what a neutralization reaction actually is. Um, good way to think of it, and in fact, the correct way to think of it, is as an exothermic proton transfer. But what do we mean? So neutralization reactions, basically it's a proton transfer between an acid and a base to produce a salt and a water. Now, this happens with strong acids plus a strong base, or sometimes a weak acid plus a weak base. Now remember, if we put a weak acid with a strong base, we're going to get a basic salt. And if we put a strong acid with a weak base, we're going to get an acidic salt. Um, so neutralization reactions are also exothermic. Um, so here we have a general equation with a strong acid plus a strong base. So a good example, hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide gives you salt and water. Now, again, this is it. Hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide gives you salt plus a water. And this is why it's a proton transfer. For, um, here we have the hydroxide ion and it accepts a proton over here from the acid. That is the proton transfer. Then the sodium and the chloride join together, except they'll stay in solution, so they won't really join together, and you will get water. Um, they're exothermic because energy is released, and in actual fact, it is all roughly, a proton transfer is roughly 57 kilojoules per mole. It's actually... Uh, 0.3, uh, 57.3 kilojoules per mole um, for every proton transfer. And that's pretty cool. So 57 kilojoules per mole for proton transfer. If it's a weak acid, you're going to have a lower one. Um, and if it's really, really concentrated, no, that won't change the per mole part. If it's a weak acid, this number will be lower, but not a lot lower. That's just the way that works. Um, and because there's energy released during this as the bonds are broken and reformed, we need to take a safety note. You actually don't want to do a neutralization reaction um, with high concentrations because what will happen is it will boil. Uh, and so we're talking a fair amount of energy here. So if you're doing strong, like high concentrations, the solvent, which is water, will boil. Um, and this means it's actually quite dangerous. So we use fewer moles when we do it in the lab. Fewer moles equals less heat equals a safer reaction. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.